we're going to look at parallel and perpendicular lines. Now first let's start with parallel lines. What are parallel lines? Well, they're two lines that go in the same direction, and they, if, if those lines were to go on forever, those lines would never cross, which means that they have to be pointing the exact same direction. So, for example, these two lines here will be parallel. See how if they were to keep going forever and ever, they would never cross each other? You could draw parallel lines horizontally. You could draw them vertically. It doesn't matter as long as the two lines are going in the same direction so that they never cross. You could also have parallel lines in a shape. So for instance, I could, oops, let's draw a straighter line here. I could make a shape that has these two lines parallel, and then I could connect that shape to make a trapezoid. You could see there that the red lines are parallel to one another. They would never cross. Now perpendicular is the opposite. Perpendicular lines are going in opposite directions and they meet to form four right angles. So when, let's just finish writing four right angles real quick here. An example of this would be lines going um, straight up like that one and straight across. As we can see, those lines are going the opposite direction. One of them is going up and down, the other's left and right, and when they meet, they form four right angles. Again, it doesn't matter what direction they're headed, just so long as they form, oops, that wasn't a very good drawing, let's try that again. Just so long as when they cross, they're going opposite directions and they form four right angles. As we could see here, that happens. Now you could have perpendicular lines in a shape as well. For example, a rectangle, these two lines here are perpendicular because they form, if they were to continue on, they would form four right angles. Now they don't continue on because it's a rectangle, but that's, those lines are still perpendicular, as are all of the lines, or these two lines here, so left, right, and up, down are perpendicular to one another, as are left, right, up, down over here, and on the bottom as well. These are perpendicular versus parallel lines. They're very helpful to know because you're going to be working with them a lot in the different shapes that you'll see.